presenting Nerf in the dark. Nerf, or Neural Radiance Fields, is a senior presentation that can be used for high quality novel view synthesis. This video is a rendering of a Nerf model reconstructed from about 20 input images of these flowers. Nerf works well in scenes like this, where there's minimal brightness variation and no visible image noise. Here's one of the input images from this scene. It looks clear and sharp with no overexposed bright highlights or heavily shadowed dark regions. But what if the scene we'd like to capture is much, much darker? This is a post-processed cell phone image of a scene lit only by candlelight. My phone has smoothed out a lot of noise in order to produce a decent looking picture at the cost of throwing away hidden details. If we grab a raw image file instead and increase its exposure, we can see lots of sensor noise, but also reveal more detail in dark regions. Let's focus on this patch behind the wooden bowl, brightening it even further. If we run a cutting edge deep denoising network on the raw image, it removes some of the noise, but leaves behind a lot of artifacts. Our method, called raw nerf, is able to combine images taken from many different camera viewpoints to jointly denoise and reconstruct the scene, revealing the classic bulldozer. Going back to the noisy image, we can see just how well raw nerf does at cleaning up this scene. So, what exactly are we trying to achieve by training nerf on raw data instead of post-processed JPEGs? We have two goals. The first is to preserve the high dynamic range of the linear raw color values measured by the camera sensor. The second is to make nerf more robust to the noise present in images captured in low light conditions. What does it mean to recover high dynamic range in nerf? Here's an example of a single high dynamic range image. I'm showing it at two different exposure levels, one 24 times brighter than the other. In the dimmer exposure, you can clearly see the car through the window. And in the brighter exposure, much more detail is revealed in the interior of the room. If we look at the brightness histogram of the raw image, we can see it extends across many orders of magnitude. If you train a nerf on low dynamic range images, because they are clipped, they'll lose details in the bright regions. Raw nerf is directly trained on the original high dynamic range data, so it preserves the full histogram, recovering the car outside the window in the bright sunlight. Our second goal was to improve robustness to image noise. Since humans perceive brightness nonlinearly, we tone map images to enhance contrast in the dark regions, and this makes noise much more visible in these areas. For example, this area around the yucca plant in the original input image is extremely noisy. This noise is so strong, it's nearly flattened out the brightness histogram around zero. The sensor readout includes many measurements that are below zero due to noise. Since a low dynamic range input image will clip values at zero, it throws away all the information present in these negative measurements, which is critical for achieving the correct contrast in dark regions. Standard nerf trained on such clip data doesn't recover the right black level and looks washed out. By comparison, raw nerf is able to recover the correct expected values by preserving the negative raw measurements, producing more detail and contrast. Next, let's take a look at what raw nerf is capable of in a couple of noisy nighttime scenes. Here's an outdoor scene lit only by street lamps. Focusing on the street sign, we can see that raw nerf cleans it up enough to make it legible. We can compare raw nerf's output to a standard nerf trained on post-processed JPEGs. By comparison, raw nerf recovers much more accurate color and detail. Here's an example of an indoor nighttime scene. The reflections on the shiny stove show that raw nerf has inherited nerf's ability to model view dependent effects. We'll end with a few more examples of HDR view synthesis effects created with raw nerf. The linear color values and 3D structure recovered by raw nerf let us render physically accurate defocus effects. We can change viewpoint, focus, and exposure altogether to bring attention to different regions of a scene. Ronerf is able to handle scenes with very large dynamic range by training on images taken at different bracketed exposure levels. We can apply a sophisticated local tone mapping pipeline to improve contrast in darker, darker regions. It's a classic HDR challenge to capture bright stained glass windows from inside a dark church. Using raw nerf, we can now experience a scene like this in 3D. You can find our paper and more results on our project page.